Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And once again, well, last time, once again, <laughs> we almost died horribly. And once again, we managed to escape barely. Um, this episode is going to be short, so don't worry. Um, all I want to accomplish is to get the slimy rune if we can. and get that treasure trove. That's really all I want to do. Um, just mutation, good. Um, and I wanted to Oops. Uh, no. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just used to having iron shot on the key, which now has Ring of Flames. We should switch them. Go down here. Go here. And down. <clears throat> Clear out things quite um, fully. Good. Oh, cool. I installed a pro. Uh, yeah, I guess this shows up on the video. <laughs> I just installed a um, program that notifies me when someone I follow on Twitch comes online. It looks like Vanguard of Valor came online. It's a cool dude. YouTube channels <coughs> as well. Place uh, faster than light and various. Oh no, jealous inside here. Oh, they eaten all the loot, Diane. Okay, but here is our rune. Various other things. Bet you everything that there was a potion of cure mutation in there. <gasps> Unknown potion. This could be cure mutation. Okay, let's see. Well, so we can. Huh. Normally, one finds. Many wants of digging. Um, <clears throat> can we be a bit efficient here? We can. Um, well, no, I don't want to open up like several rooms and then some jellies come along. So let's uh, disintegrate here. Light, useless money, might. Identify agility, sure. Okay, nothing spectacular. 
here come the jellies yeah once we approach this the <laughs> correct way things go a lot <clears throat> a lot better so no can trips Let's, um, make sure thank heavens wow <laughs> that's been a long time coming no. no let's wait until we get out because we might just get a mutation on the way on the way out you know no the handbook of protection mm, well battle sphere is pretty cool but I don't know I have a different plan for which spells we are gonna go for in the future One of confusion me intelligence I guess we'll check it out plus three no okay and finally mm, Curing. <clears throat> we did spend way too much, too many resources on taking this place, but well, we have been successful. Legendary deck of cards. Very cool if we want to go the evocations route and bang! There's our rune. Excellent. Uh, okay. Food. Embroidered gloves. Can they be better than gauntlets of war? Mm, gloves of archery. They have their use. But only for ranged weaponry, slaying plus four. Um, this goes with ranged and melee, so I guess they're just better than these. And the grimoire of shape shifting. Uh, I think we have those spells if we ever want them. Uh, I think we have them back home. And yeah. Alright, let's get out of this place and never return. Good, good, good. Uh, there we go. We did it! Whew. Wow. Okay, let's go. First, we'll go here. We dropped off various useful stuff. Um, 42 slots, so let's drink our potion of cure mutation. Oh, seriously, we still have these rather crappy. Um, well, we did lose some bad mutations and some good ones. Um, okay, now we go to the treasure trove on D12. We enter, we show it the slimy rune, and we are allowed access. No cure mutation, of course not. What's this cloak? Magic resistance, no. Yeah. Okay, artifact jewels. Double sword. That's a one handed weapon. Oh, that could be good. Amnesia? Well, that's useful. 
because we're going to switch around our spells at some point. All right, back to stash. Let's identify. This is amulet of warding, which is negative int minus five, dex plus five. Um, no. Minus four dex plus four. Blah, blah, blah. Quap. <laughs> uh, wooden ring is a plus three ring of dexterity. We'll never use that. Uh, let's see. Base damage fifteen. Hmm. This could be a very good. Sword, um, plus two anti magic. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, hmm. Well, what can I say? Um, <clears throat> yeah, what can I say? <laughs> um, That was a bit anti-climactic, I'd say. Um, at least we did get one... Not sure why I took that book with me. At least we did get one potion of cure mutation, so that's slightly better. Um, and we got through a slimy rune, and we didn't die. So, in many ways, this has been successful, um, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, uh, this amnesia we can drop. Good. Um, I'll end this particular recording here. Um, I might just, since this is only 13 minutes, if you see the video lasting longer, then you something more will come. But I'll not record it right now. And boom. Well, without further ado. Let's continue here. Um, so I'm trying to make a plan of what spells we want in the future and how to how to get there. Um, it involves quite a lot of amnesia scrolls. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least nine spells I want to forget and replace with high level stuff. Um, right now we could learn Orb of Destruction, that seems reasonable. Um, and Lehudib's Crystal Spear is a bit dangerous to cast, but within reach. I think we can do with. Um, <coughs> We can get by with uh, iron shots and such for now, but Orb of Destruction is really good to keep around. I would also like to get my summonings skill up so we can learn Aura of Abjuration, because that's going to be really good in the long run. And maybe fairly soon. So there is a manual of summonings there for 1500 gold. Might as well get that. Um, 
Okay, what's the plan next? There's not much to choose from here. Um, not going back to the abyss. Um, we don't need to either. So there's hell. No, that feels too early. Pandemonium is possible. Um, but the problem is, if we go in there, um, <clears throat> as you might know, you kind of have to be ready to to um, take on the unique pandemonium lords because if you come across one of their floors and you want to get the rune you get only one chance and I would like to make this a 15 rune run that would be so cool we're in no way ready for the tomb um, that's gonna be one of the last things I try, probably. Waltz 5, eh, scary. I might be ready for that though, but then again, once you go in there, especially with a slow character, you're quite committed to doing, doing it all um, because of those wardens to seal off the stairs and all that. Depths 5 and Zots seem like a reasonable option as well. And that's probably where I'll go. Um, I think the Manual of Summonings and that'll just give us a... We don't have to spend a lot of experience to get our summonings high enough to learn the Aura of Abjuration. And Other reason to keep her on this gold? No. Well, the manual of dodging would also be a. Well, we have no. We have good dodging. Um, there's no other spell books we need or want. I think not. Um, burglary, of death. Spell Undead can be useful sometimes, um, but if we need it, we can get that later on. You know what? Let's do this <clears throat> without further ado. This is Iron Trot. Good. Go. I'll get the manual of summonings. Buy it. Yes. Yes. Good. Mm. Okay, Cap's lock was on. And. Hmm. this. Now we... Mm, is everything okay? Oh, we don't need to use this this ring mail anymore. So we go back to our fairy dragon armor. We drop the ring mail. Now depths. Oh, here we are. <laughs> level 3, level 4, and level 5. You hear the crackle of arcane power. Ooh, an entrance to a wizard's laboratory. Now that's cool. Um, they can be hard, pretty hard, but I think we have to at least take a look inside. The loot can be great. 
Um, okay. Um, probably not. Kind of want to save our magic mapping. Um, Distant magical portal, so it's not too far away. Um, one thing we are still lacking is a good source of heal wounds and healing. We have regeneration on our fairy dragon armor, and we have the spell, but still, yeah, it took a lot of resources to get through the slime pits. Oh, it's nearby. Cool. We still have these rather nasty mutations. This be the entrance to the wizard lab. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, there it is. So let's take a look. Hmm. Here we have a short range portal. Portal leading out. Hmm. The dimensions edge. Wow. <laughs> On the edge of this tiny isolated plane, space itself dissolves into oblivion. Um. <clears throat> okay, so looking at the wiki, there's a list of wizard laboratories, and this could be one called Roulette of Golubria, a place that exists outside the, the dimensions, consisting of several rooms linked by teleporters and filled with some of the horrors of the abyss. That's all I know about this place. Um, let's try to enter this portal. Yeah, this seems like abyssal horrors, and... Obsidian statue. Summon demons. Uh, sleeping tentacle. Cloak fog. Um, step away. Here, this can be a little confusing. But let's just, I don't know, jump around. Masses go away, burn. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's turn off some auto pickup crap here. Confusion.
No entries here for, I guess they're under miscellaneous, these lanterns of shadow or whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, good. Uh, where did we come from? Well, here we are. Disquisition on boosting a translocation. Okay, nothing of interest. Manual of Translocations. Most excellent. At least for the long term. Yeah, that's really good. Huh. Wizzy. A mighty high elf wizard. Looks dangerous. Bicycle, battle sphere, cloud, fireball. Mm. I don't really remember this guy, but it's apparently a ghost from a forgotten time. Put to rest. Hopefully. Oops, <laughs> wrong key. Here. This guy cannot see invisible, so let's use our our rarely used invisibility spell. Boom. Okay, no, <laughs> no problem. Nice. Okay. Cloak, 
<coughs> with spikes. Another artifact cloak. We need this. Uh, disintegration. We. Well, I can take it if there's nothing else interesting. Um, <clears throat> Ring of teleport control. It might be useful. We might, we might want to forget. Um, Spell teleport control at some point. Um, let's check out the cloaks, that's useless. The shimmering cloak plus two of ennui, resist negative magic resistance and slaying plus three. Hmm. That's not. Uh, bad. It's a plus five to slaying compared with this one. What about the spiked cloak of weightlessness? Uh, these two are useless for a gargoyle. Resist F. Oh, susceptibility to fire is not really good. The vocal will blink. If we ever train evocations, that can of course be useful, but I think I'll stick to this cloak of Ennui. Ennui, and uh, whatever. Okay, um. There seems to be a uh, um, several disconnected chambers. There are complex teleporter chains. The three sets of teleporters shown here in their default position. Okay, so the hmm, this looks <laughs> yeah, there's really complicated rules. The wiki even says so. Uh, and there are sets of teleporters, and they are randomly rotated. So uh, yeah, some kind of random uh, pattern. <laughs> Well, um, hmm. I guess we got most of the loot. There might be some. Well, we were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've been to eight chambers. Um, there are nine. <clears throat> so I guess we only lack. Or haven't been this part. I'm just trying things now. Sort of uh, randomly. <laughs> I don't know, 
must try this teleport trap. Maybe we get lucky. Just get out. Okay, well, that was the Wizard Lab. Evening star. Evening star flaming. Cool. Earth mages. They have least rapid deconstruction, which I think is not good for a gargoyle. have found the entrance to Zot. Mm -hmm. Summoning is rapidly Got a little low on health and magic there for a moment. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're good. The gate to the realm of Azot. Missiles up.
And depth five has been completed. All right, still no heal wounds. Um, just drop some things here. Oh, let's check out this new cloak. Nope. Uh, we can drop this. this behind. Also we don't need this because we do have another control teleport with int plus six which is just better. Um, we can leave the manual of translocations behind. And just get it if we ever need it and this cloak. There's no point in carrying it around. our only source of sea invisible, is it? No, we still have sea invisible. From... oh, helmet, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was looking for this sinv... yeah, anyway. So is there any point in keeping this cloak? not. Stealth plus. We're still fairly stealthy. Uh, might train stealth some more in the future. So yeah, goodbye Cloak of the Thief, but fog effect can be useful, but it's, you know, um, it really needs evocation skill to be good. And let's make a waypoint here, like uh, number two, just so we know, we have a small stash here of Potentially useful things. Um, eat this. Mm, now what? Do we go into Zot or do we? Yeah, I think we do. We can do at least a level or two. Insert the decaying rune, the abyssal rune, and the slimy rune. Monstrosities. Ever. <laughs> wow, another one. <clears throat> uh, a phantom mirror. Do these. Okay, yeah, the duration increases with the evocation skill. These are kind of cool items. And I hope we'll get to train some evocations at some point. Right now, I don't think we can afford it. We have nothing really to enchant, so we'll leave that one behind and come back to it if for some reason we some kind of weapon we want to enchant. Not sure what that could be, but I 
You never knew. Let's throw a fireball in there. It's not super effective anymore in the fireball. Ow, hellfire. Well, it looked like hellfire. Mm -hmm. Hellfire explodes. Maybe it was that. Well, anyway. Yes, please. <laughs> what? I don't need potions of poison. <laughs> okay, I'll spin some of accident okay this mouth of wrath is gonna enrage stuff use our lightning bolt a little bit It's more like when, well, if uh, we find another scroll of acquirement, I'll definitely go for a wand and hopefully get a wand of heal wounds. If it's really scary to not have <laughs> a single source of heal wounds, that's only two curing. Yeah, that's scary. Hmm. So, and of course, portions of cure mutation are quite high on the uh, wish list. For Christmas is to cure my mutations. Shouldn't be a big problem. Nah. Okay, I'm feeling good now. Not taking a lot of damage and 
killing everything fairly <clears throat> quickly. Summoning is over ten. I think that's enough to read the Grand Grimoire. Two portions of curing. Oops. just train summonings until the manual is complete or done. Uh, how's Firestorm doing? 34% failure. Wow, it's not too far away. Hellfire, I need to know. Mottled Draconian? No. Draconian Knight? No. Grey? No. Hmm. Just not sure where. Pale Draconian Scorcher costs a spell, the Hellfire explodes. And he died, okay. Maybe they don't care if they hellfire themselves and <laughs> die in the process. That could be an explanation. Flames, but it worked out. Yeah, pale draconian, yeah, smiting hellfire burst. There's no protection possible against this unholy flame. It goes straight through armor. Sure. Um, no. Oops. Drop a 
all the cloaks. The draconians always have. What happened? <laughs> what? You were sucked into a shaft? The shaft crumbles and collapses. What? Okay, that's not the normal message for <coughs> getting shafted. Like a shaft trap or something. Well, we ended up in the most the worst place possible. <laughs> well, it's it's nothing we can't deal with, so to speak. You know, these giants and such. There's so many, and the moth, moths, moths of wrath. We'll make these guys berserk. Hmm. Well, <laughs> typical Larry. Always, <laughs> yeah. They, the amount of luck and weird situations to, with this, or bad luck, I should say, with this character is is living up to his name. And yeah, go go watch Parks and Recreation if you don't get the reference. Okay, let's try to deal with this and teleport if it goes south. So. Ring of Flames. Massive damage. Uh, tons of Berserk Giants. No. But if we blink, we should end up here. Possibly there. Yes. Now, uh... A lightning bolt do I'm thinking teleport now. This is not a good place to be. Okay, somewhat better. of flames is probably making a lot of noise okay looks like we escaped alive curing oh here's a pole arm Let's get some face shift as well. Um, That's rough.
Oops. Ooh, staircase. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> That was fun. Okay. <laughs> Whew, did we do another level of assault or Well, we've already done quite a bit of level three. Mm. I think we can deal with it. Deflect missiles. Let's animate some. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what, um, this video is almost 50 minutes, so I think it's time to end it here, and, um, and take a break. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, uh, goodbye.